My name is Amber, and I'm a technical sales engineer with SmartBear Software. If you've seen my video entitled, Building Your First Monitor with Deja Click, you already know how quick and easy it is to create a script and upload it to Alert Site. Today, I'm going to show you some of the more advanced scripting techniques available, including content views, URL exclusions, and appending a script forward, which is adding new content to a script you've already created. There are times when you might want to prevent a certain URL from impacting your results, or even to stop it from executing entirely and impacting web analytics or other marketing tools. With Deja Click, you can exclude specific URLs from your reporting metrics or exclude them from your testing entirely. Using a script I created previously on a common user interaction with DejaClick.AlertSite.com and played back successfully, I'm going to test on demand from our Austin, Texas agent. Once the on-demand test completes, you'll see a report containing all of the elements and pages associated with the transaction, as well as any third-party content or additional components. This is a great source for gathering the exact URLs you want to exclude. Here, you can see the first step in this transaction, including all of the various URLs and page elements associated with it in a waterfall chart. As you can see, there are calls being made to Google Analytics. If our monitors include them, it will interfere with our marketing team's ability to gauge site views, so let's exclude them. Right-click on the URL you want to exclude, then select Copy Link Location. Open up the Deja Click sidebar, choose the Advanced Display option, then locate the URL Exclusions box, and click Add. Then paste in that URL. There's already a wildcard, so you don't have to worry about building one yourself or using regular expressions. Once you've input the URL, you have two options for how to exclude it. You can choose to ignore the URL, meaning eliminate it from your test results, or to block it from executing at all. In this case, we know we want to block this URL completely, and that doing so won't interfere with the monitor's ability to navigate the page, so it's safe to click OK. When the test is played back with the URL exclusion in place, Google Analytics will no longer be part of the monitor's results. Next, let's take a look at content views. Content views are basically more efficient ways of filtering a large amount of third-party content all at once. The Content Views box is located below the URL Exclusions box. By applying Content Views to your monitors, you can choose which results will be displayed. I've created a Content View called Primary. This Content View will display everything except the URL exclusions I just created. You can create a Content View that will show just the core content of pages involved in the monitor. That content will vary based on your specific situation, but it can include anything you feel is critical to the performance of the transaction. Things like tag managers, CDNs, image servers, advertising providers, and of course, your domains. You may want to create a content view focused on a proof of concept with one of your vendors. That way, you can separate the data related only to that vendor to make it easier to gauge their performance over time. Now there are three separate content views associated with this script. From the alert site perspective, only one monitor is being run. However, the reporting engine is going to separate that content into three unique scripts, which will allow you to build notification rules around them individually. The last topic I'll cover in this video is appending a script forward, which is the ability to add additional actions to an existing script. The script I've recorded contains three steps. To add additional steps, select the last step you wish to keep, and then add a pause. Play the script back and click Record once the pause is reached. Any actions you record will overwrite the existing actions that take place after the pause. Record your script as desired, then click Stop. Remove the pause and save or upload your new script. Today, I've reviewed URL exclusions, content views, and appending a script. Thank you for watching.